Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will learn about the difference between the Angular's emulated Shadow DOM and also the DOM's native Shadow DOM. So we need to understand. This is very important in Angular concept. So we need to understand about the emulated Shadow DOM and also the native Shadow DOM. So we already you people know that Angular uses the Shadow DOM in to implement the component specific scoped styles. So what is the difference between these two? Generally, I want to tell you what is a Shadow DOM. So we know about the DOM thing and all those things. And also we have covered a vast playlist on the DOM document object model. We have done. We have learned it. Then what is this Shadow DOM? So now before learning about this Shadow DOM, first what I want to tell you is in Angular, component styles can be encapsulated. So encapsulated means we have seen that uh, CSS, right? The CSS we can able to apply only for a component thing. So that type of thing we can encapsulate. There are three different encapsulation strategies available. The default one is the emulated, which we are trying to see it, and another one is a none. That means component specific styles will not be there, and another one is a shadow DOM, in which the shadow DOM is a browser's default one, is a web components feature, so it will be applied. So none is not a uh, none means you already know it's least least interesting so it just disables the encapsulation completely, and you need to know the main thing is the difference between emulated and a shadow DOM. So these are the two things which you need to understand it. So let's try. So then now we need to understand what is a shadow DOM. So before we dive into the difference between this encapsulation emulated and a shadow DOM, first of all we need to understand what is shadow DOM. Okay, so what is a shadow DOM? We need to understand this one. Shadow DOM is a part of the web component standard. It is a feature available in the web component standard standards. It enables the style and DOM tree encapsulation. Okay, so what is this one? Is so this encapsulation allows us to hide the DOM's logic. So if you try to see, I will try to show you this one also. It will hide the DOM's logic behind the elements. And it will also scope the styles to an element. So that means the styles you can apply only to that particular DOM only. Scoped styles have the advantage so that they cannot don't have leak out. So they will not apply to the other DOM elements. It will apply only to the DOM elements which you have mentioned. So this is nothing but the component scoped elements which we have seen it. Component specific styles. This allows us to create component styles with that will only apply to that component and will not impact the rest of the page. So now this is the main basic native Shadow DOM. Angular is inspired by this type of concept that is web components. So therefore, not surprisingly, so Angular comes out with the same similar concept that is called as an emulated thing. Why the Angular uses the same concept as an emulated means because Angular doesn't use the native Shadow DOM by default. It uses the emulative Shadow DOM. So why the Angular came with this one? The main reason is that back in the day when the Angular was created, most browsers are not supporting the Shadow DOM. In order to make the browsers to support this Shadow DOM concept, so Angular came out with a new solution, Angular implementation to mimic the native Shadow DOM. That is nothing but an emulated Shadow DOM. Okay. So now you need now you may be having a doubt that what is the difference between this native Shadow DOM and also an emulated Shadow DOM. So what is the main difference between? So both are one and the same only, but still have some differences between uh, native Shadow DOM and also the emulated Shadow DOM. Let's try to see this one. Okay. So the default one, as I already told you, that encapsulation is emulated. So view encapsulation dot emulated. So here you will be able to see emulated none and a Shadow DOM, right? So emulated is a default one which uses the Angular's Shadow DOM, Angular's uh, implementation of the Shadow DOM. And here let's implement the use the course course dot component dot css and this should be style URLs, right? Style URLs. That's it. So now we are using this component thing. Let's try to implement. So here in our app component HTML, I don't want to use this one all. I will use a simple app iPhone course. Okay. So here I will use app iPhone course and here I will write some h2 element and for this h2 element I will do angular animation. So this one I am taking it as an ng content. Now let's go to the course.html and I will remove this one all. Let's say that I am having an h1 
hi leela web dev i am using something like this and here we will be having one div class is equal to some class blue and here i will use the ng content so here you will be able to see the ng content that's it so this is the html which i am trying to use it and the type of encapsulation i am using is the default one so if you don't mention it also it is a by default one that is emulated now if you try to see the output here in this one so here we are able to see leela web dev angular animations in one big box we are able to see it. this is because we are getting in course dot component dot css let's try to remove this one all okay i'm trying to remove this one all and if you try to see the output here so here we are able to see high leela web dev and angular animation so this color high leela web dev is coming from the global styles that is nothing but which i have implemented in the styles dot css here h1 color red i have implemented here in the course dot component dot ps file where is this one so because of that reason we are able to see that h1 we are getting it it has red color now you need to understand when you mention the course dot component dot htm sorry when you implement the emulated as an emulated so you need to understand that both the global styles will be applied and also the component specific styles also will be applied how the component specific styles is applied in angular how it will be able to do this one using the emulated shadow dom what is the meaning of this emulated shadow dom now if i try to show you here if you uh, try to refresh this page and if you come here inspect thing instead of implementing the shadow uh, native shadow dom here when you try to see here this is a component and for this one a special attribute has been added something like ng content and ng host so this ng host means this is the main root host thing and in this one you will be having the elements okay so here if you try to see the unique identifier the unique identifier is having the same number and the content it is existing inside this app course is also having the same number if you try to see here this one is having a little bit different c8386 something like that it is having a little bit different thing for example let's say that for the blue uh let go and implement in the css uh for the blue okay i will apply color sorry background color background color blue okay if i apply background color of blue then if you see here so blue color is we are able to see the blue color and if you try to see here for the dew blue you will be able to see dot blue and an at and an identifier has been added to this one to the styles in order to make these styles not to be applied to any other div which is present outside of this one okay outside so this is scoped to this only particular thing by using this one so angular uses the emulated shadow dom and adds this type of attributes and all those things and it will change the css like this so that it will the styles will be scoped to that only to that component now let's say that this h2 is present in this course only right let's try to add some h2 color here h2 okay for this h2 i will apply color of white okay why because it is in the here right or otherwise i will apply margin left okay margin left of 50 pixel i will apply it like this now if you see the output here suddenly this one is not applying okay so here this is this is not applying if you try to see here angular animations and if you try to see here so this is not applying so this is one thing you need to understand it here why because this h2 component is coming from the app component dot html this is not come this is not a uh, this is this h2 is not a part of course dot component dot html this one is a part of app dot component dot html so that is the reason the css has the, the h2 css has not been applied so when you write this h2 in the app component dot css then only it will be applied why because this h2 belongs to uh, this one the h2 belongs does not belongs to the course component it belongs to its parent component so this is how the emulated shadow dom makes uh, makes its scope specific styles by using a special attribute for to each and every element uh, by applying each and every element the special unique identifier it will try to apply it so this is about the emulated shadow dom and if i try to change it to shadow dom here in the course dot component if i try to change it to shadow dom then what will happen i will try to explain you this one in the next video so this is all about the emulated thing how the emulated works and in the next video i will tell you about the shadow dom and i will tell you the difference between those two 
so this is about the emulated thing hope you understood about this emulated concept now i will try to commit this all the code in a new branch video hyphen 6 so whoever may be having a doubts and all those things so they can go and uh, check this code this is very much important so emulated dom now if i commit here save all and commit it Close always so one one only one thing will be committed i don't know why so emulated styles okay and if i commit this all the code we are done publish this branch now whoever may be having a doubts and all those things so they can go to my website uh, not website github uh, repository url github.com slash angular animations so anybody who is having these doubts and all those things they can go to refer this code who are watching this video if you have doubts you can refer this code so the github repo link url is provided in the description below of the video if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you